All right, guys. It's so nice to see you all again today. Thank you for coming to practice. Let's all come to a comfortable seated pose at the top of our mats for a moment. Take a little movement from side to side. Go ahead and place your hands on the front of your knees. Take your chin to your chest. Start to lean back towards the back wall behind you. And then inhale, pull your chest towards the front of the room. A few cat cow seated. Exhale, cat it back towards the back wall behind you. And inhale, pull your chest forward. Couple more like this. Exhale, cat it back. And inhale, pull, pull. One more, exhale, cat it back. And inhale, pull, pull. Now let's take a few soupy grinds. Rib cage moves over to the right. Cat it back. Rib cage over to the left. And around to the front. Now I want you to take a few more of these circles on your own breath count. Going as fast or as slow as you'd like. Just simply warming up the body. Get and ready to move. And when you're all done there, pause and let's go the opposite direction. Rib cage to the left. Chin to the chest, pat it back. Rib cage to the right and around to the front. And then take a few more circles on your own breath count. Just getting the body moving here, getting ready to move in our flow tonight. And maybe one more circle around. And then sit up nice and tall. Turn your palms over on your knees. Close your eyes for a moment. Now start to notice if you're still feeling that spinning. If you got your body moving and buzzing, you kind of still feel the vibration in your body of the movement. Now I want you to start to Notice how you're breathing for today. Notice how your body is feeling in general. And then start to breathe in your ujjayi breath. So lips are closed lightly together and inhaling in the nose. And exhaling out your nose, ocean-like sound as the breath rolls over the vocal cords. Try to relax through your cheeks and through your shoulders just for a moment here, just for a moment before we get moving. And then blinking your eyes open. Let's start the show. Walk your hands forward. Take your chin to your chest. Allow the back of your head and neck to hang long here. And then walking your hands back, switch out which leg you have in front. Take a deep breath in the nose. And then again, exhale, walk your hands out in front of you, chin to the chest again, back of the head and neck nice and long. And pulling forward here into your tabletop position, hands are right under the shoulders, knees are right under the head. We're going to inhale, pull forward as if we're going into a plank pose. And then we're going to slowly lower our hips down to the floor. Shoulders pulling down away from your 
ears. And then lifting the hips up, exhale, press back into your child pose. Now roll forward through cat. Plank pose on the knees and then simply let the hips melt down to the floor. And lifting the hips up, press back into that child pose. Couple more times like this. Inhale, rolling forward through cat. Letting the hips melt up. Now lifting the hips up, pressing back into your chest. Boom. And last one, roll through cat. And let the hips melt down. Lifting the hips up, pressing back into your child pose. Forehead down on the ground. Start to roll your forehead from ear to ear here. Massaging your forehead. And then add the hips and then actually start to take your hips from side to side. We're finding center, lifting your head an inch off the ground. Walk your hands off the mat to the right, placing your left hand on your right hand, pulling your left hip back towards the back of the mat. Deep breath in your nose. And exhale, let that breath go. And walking your hands back through center and all the way off your mat to the left. Place your right hand on your left hand, pulling that right hip back towards the back of your mat. Deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. And walking the hands back to center. One more deep breath in your nose. And exhale, let that breath go. Inhale, sliding forward with your chest as close to the mat. And at the last minute, scooping up into your cow pose. And then tucking the toes, lifting the knees, pressing into your downward facing dog. So taking a few yeses and no's ahead here. A little wag of your tail from side to side. And bend your right knee, let your left heel melt closer to the ground. And switch it up. And letting both heels melt down to the ground. Inhale, lift your heels up nice and high. Walk on your toes to the top of the mat. Once you get there, let your heels melt down. Inhale and lifting halfway. Now your hands can either be on the mat, your shins, or your thighs as you lift halfway, leaning through the back here. And exhale, fold in the inhale, keeping that micro bend in your knees. And then inhale, start to lift up, roll up one vertebrae at a time, head and neck come up last, arms hanging long beside you. Here, we're going to take a few shoulder rolls. Inhale, roll your shoulders forward to the front of the room. Inhale, swivel the shoulders up to your ears. And exhale, pull your shoulder blades together and down. A couple more times here. Inhale, roll your shoulders forward. Inhale, swivel the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, pull the shoulder blades together and down. One more time. Roll the shoulders forward. Roll the shoulders up to your ears. And exhale, pull the shoulder blades together and down. Taking your chin to your chest, rolling your head from side to side. And then finding center here, pull your chin to a neutral, 
Inhale, circle, sweep your arms. Exhale, baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. And inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, swan dive, big it up. Inhaling, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold. Slide your left foot back to the back of the mat, low lunge. Step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting the heels up nice and high. Exhale, bring your knees all the way down to the mat. Keep your toes tucked under as you press back in a very active child pose. Hips on to heel. Now inhale, roll forward through cat to play pose on your knees for this first one. Take a deep breath in the nose. And as you exhale, slowly elbow brush your cage as you come all the way down to your belly. Now I'm tucking the toes. Take your palms up on the wood floor. Roll the shoulders onto your back. Inhale, modify focus. Exhale, down. Two more. Inhaling, modify cobra. Exhale, down. One more. Inhaling, modify cobra. Exhale, down. Bring your palms in flat. Inhaling, plank pose on your knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now inhaling, heels high. Exhaling, knees bend. Walk, step or silently hop to the top of your mat. Inhaling, looking halfway again. Hands to the on the shin, the knee, the thigh, for every butt. Exhale, fold the knee. Inhale, roll your back up one vertebrae at a time. Head and neck come up last. Circle, sweep the arms this time. Baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. And inhale, straightening the arms. Exhale, take it right back down. Swan dive, take it down. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, folding. Step your right foot back, low lunge. Step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels up nice and high. Exhale, bring the knees all the way down to the mat. Keep your toes tucked under, press your hips back onto your heels. Inhale, roll forward through cat to play pose. Now you can be on your knees, or maybe you take this one off your knees. Gaze is at the top of the mat. Take a deep breath in the hip, and exhale. Pull all the way, push all the way down to the mat. Elbows, brush, ribs on the way down. Take your palms up on the wood floor. Inhale, modify cobra. Exhale, right shoulder heads down towards the center of your mat as you gaze over your left shoulder. And then inhaling, modify cobra again. And then exhale, left shoulder heads towards the center of the mat. You gaze over your right hand. And then inhale, lift, modify cobra. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, plank pose on or off your knees this time. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a deep breath in the nose. And open that paw, let that breath go. Inhaling, heels high. Exhale, knee bend. Walk, step, or silently hop to the top of your mat. Inhaling, lifting halfway, seven, eight, four. Exhale, fold and in. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up, arms up. Now this time, you'll take your left hand around your right wrist. 
Lifting up through the right side of your body, getting tall. And leaning over the left. Now try not to stretch into your left side. Try to get tall through that left side all. So lean over. Remember, using the core here. And then inhale, center, switch it out. Put your right hand around the left wrist. Lifting up through the left side of your body and leaning over to the right. And in, you know, center baby back bend, elbows at 90. Inhale, straighten the arm. Exhale, swan dive, take it down. Inhaling, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold. This time you can walk, step, or jump to plank pose. Your choice. Inhale, shift. Forward on your toes. Exhale, elbow crush ribs. Slowly make your way all the way down to the knees. And untucking the toes, slide the hands a little bit more towards the waist. Roll the shoulders down towards your tail. And inhale, lift your chest up here with the chin slightly tucked. Cobra pose. Exhale, down. Another cobra pose, here we go. Inhale, let's cobra pose. Exhale, down. Now the third one will have an option. Inhale, cobra pose, or maybe you pull through cobra and lift up into your upward facing dog. Meaning the only thing touching the mat are the palms of your hands and the tops of your feet here. And exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a nice deep breath in your nose. And exhale, letting that breath go. Couple more deep breath in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. One more deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. Inhaling, heels high. Exhale, knees bend. Walk, step, or silently hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold and hang. Start to bend the knees, sit the hips back. Inhale, chair pose. Sitting back into your heels. So notice if your knees are coming over your feet like this. You want to sit back to where you can see all 10 toes breathe when you're sitting down into this chair pose. And still breathe in the ujjayi breath here. Now slowly begin to stand all the way up. And at the top, lift your heels and balance on the toes. Making sure the shoulders are still down the back. Let your knit and your ribcage in nice and tight. Now letting the heels melt down, baby. Back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. And inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, hands at heart center. Deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. So to bend the knees, sit the hips back, inhale, chair first. Exhale, swan dive, take it down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step your left foot to the back of the mat, low lunge. Now inhale, pull your sternum, that's your chest, towards the front of your mat. And then exhale, pat it up in your back, scraping through your front leg. And this time, you'll let your back heel melt down towards the ground. So keep your toes on your front foot, pressing down into the mat. Your heels should be probably floating just barely off the mat on your back foot. Now lift through the heel on your back foot and bend into your front knee. With your left hand down on the ground, 
You can make a fist, you can make spider hand fingers, or maybe your left hand is flat. Inhale, lift your right arm up towards the side. Now exhale, right hand down. We're gonna do this neat little trick. Drop your back knee down to the mat. Now swing your back leg, your back shin parallel to the back of the mat. Bring your right hand in to meet your left hand and walk your hand past the upper left hand corner of the mat, making downward facing dog arms with your arms and your head and your torso. Your right knee is pressing up to the right side of your mat. And that back shin is parallel to the back of the mat, getting this nice stretch to your inner thigh on your right leg. Now walk your hands back around this right foot and step back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in your nose. And exhale, let that breath go. Now you're welcome to stay in this downward facing dog arm, or we're gonna take a vinyasa flow here. So inhale, rolling forward to plank pose. Exhale, low plank or all the way down. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. Inhaling, heels high. Exhaling, knees back. Walk, step, or silent knee hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, hold and hang. Bend the knees, sit the hips back. Inhale, chair pose. Slowly stand all the way up at the top, lifting the heels, balancing on your toes. Letting your heels melt down, baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhale, straightening the arms. Exhale, hands at heart center. Deep breath in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. Bend your knees, sit your hips back, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, swan dive. Inhaling, lifting halfway. Exhale, full. Low lunge, right foot back, low lunge. Inhale, pull your sternum towards the front of the room. Exhale, cat in the back. Lift the hips here, lift them high, and then melt down through your back heel. Now lifting through the back heel, bend into your front knee with your right hand down. Inhale, lift the left arm up towards the side. Exhale, left hand down, drop your back knee. Swing your back shin parallel to the back of your mat. Bring your left hand into your right hand and walk your hands past the upper right hand corner of the mat. Now make downward facing dog arm with your arms, your torso. Left leg is pressing out to the left. Just taking a nice deep stretch here. Now walking your hands around this left foot. Step back, downward facing dog. You're welcome to stay here or maybe move through vinyasa flow by inhale, rolling forward to plank pose. Exhale, low plank or all the way down. Inhaling up with facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in the nose. 
Open that ha, let that breath go. Two more, deep breath in the nose. Open that ha, let it go. And last one, deep breath in. Open that ha, let that breath go. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, knees bend. Walk, step, or silently hop to the top of your mat. Now inhaling, lifting halfway. And exhale, fold in. Bend the knees, sit the hips back. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, turn your left pinky finger to the back of the room and reach to the reach your left arm back, right arm forward. Now notice your knees are going to want to go with you. Try to keep the knees nice and square with each other here. Sweeping that left arm down, inhale, both arms up. Now let's take the right arm. Right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward. Try to keep those hips square. Let that right arm sweep down. Inhale, both arms up. Slowly stand all the way up, lifting your heels at the top. Standing on your toes. Letting your heels melt down, baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhale, straightening the arms. Exhale, swan dive, take it down. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, full. Step your left foot back, low lunge. Inhale, pull your sternum forward to the front of the room. Exhale, pat it up in your back, lift your hips. Now, this time, stay really high on the ball of your back foot. So the heel stays really high and you stretch through your front leg now. So straightening in this front leg. Inhale, lifting your chest halfway. Leave with your heart, fold over. If you'd like, you can take your toes on your right foot with your front leg and pull them back towards your shin here, if you'd like. And then bend into this right knee, low lunge, left hand down, inhale, right arm lifts up towards the sky. And exhale, right hand comes down on the inside of your right foot, spiral your back heel down parallel to the back of the mat, and then lift your left arm up towards the sky. On your next inhale, use your core to stand you up into the warrior two. As you exhale, sit an inch deeper into the pose. Now on the inhale, straighten through your front leg, bring your palms together above your head, and exhale, hands at heart center. Take a deep breath in the nose. And exhale, warrior two, press back in. Sit as deep as you can in this warrior two. A couple more times here. Inhale, straight into the front leg, bring your palms together above the head. Exhale, hands at heart center. Take a nice deep breath in the nose. Exhale, press into the warrior two. One more time. Inhale, straighten, palms together. Exhale, hands at heart center. Deep breath in the nose. Exhale, warrior two, press it up. Now flipping your front palm, inhale, reverse the warrior. Lean back towards the back of your mat. And exhale, part of the hands down to surround your right foot. Come to the ball of your back foot. Now step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank, pose on or off the knee. And exhale, 
Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Untucking the toes here. Take your hands behind the back and interlace your fingers. Roll the shoulders onto your back. Kiss your ankles together if that's acceptable to you. Take a nice deep breath in your nose. Exhale, let that breath go. Inhale, lift your chest and your legs here. And maybe you lift your fist off of, the, of your back. Remember, chin is slightly tucked and you're still breathing in and out of your nose with the ujjayi breath. And release down. Take your right ear to the mat, gaze left, and bend your knees, windshield wiper from side to side. And finding center, palms beside the ribcage. Inhale, plank pose on your knees. Exhale, press back, child pose. Take three breaths here, inhaling in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. Two more, deep breath in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. And one more, deep breath in. And exhale, let that breath go. Inhale, slide forward into your cow. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, knees bend, walk step or silently hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold down. Now bend your knees, sit your hips back, inhaling chair forward. And as you exhale, we're going to twist over to our left side here. So I want you to take your left hand on your left hip, right arm is up towards the sky, you're still in chair pose on your legs. Take a nice deep breath in here, and as you exhale, cross your right arm across your left thigh. Now bring both of your hands to heart center and notice that your knees are still square and you're still sitting back into the pose. Take a few deep breaths here. If you'd like, maybe you open your arms. You choose. Still breathing. And then inhale, chair pose center. Exhale, swan dive. March it out with your legs a little bit. Take a little side to side, march it out. Now here we go, we'll do the same thing to the right. Bend your knees, sit your hips back, inhale, chair pose. Take your right hand to your right hip, take a deep breath in here, and as you exhale, cross the left, left tricep over your right knee. Now inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, twist a little bit more. If you'd like, you're welcome to open your arms. And bring the hands back to heart center. Inhale, chair from the center. Slowly stand all the way up. Lift your heels at the top. Balancing on the toes. Letting the heels melt down, baby. Back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, hands at heart center. Deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. 
Bending the knees, sitting hips back, inhale, chair. Exhale, swan dive. Inhaling, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back, low lunge. Inhale, pull the sternum towards the front of the room. Exhale, pad it up and lift through the hips, keeping the ball, keeping high on the ball of your back foot. So that back heel is high over the ball of the foot, straight through your front leg this time. Inhale, lifting your chest halfway with the option to pull your left toes back towards the chin. Fold over your left leg, leading with your heart. Bending into your left knee, low lunge, right hand down, inhale, left arm lifts up towards the sky. Exhale, left hand lands on the inside of your left leg. Spiral your back heel down parallel to the back of your mat. Inhale, lift your right arm up towards the sky. Now try to use your core here. Inhale, lift to warrior two. Exhale, sit an inch deeper into the pose. Now on your next inhale, straighten through the front leg, bring your palms together above the head. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Take a nice deep breath in, and exhale, press into the warrior two, and don't be afraid to go deeper than what your normal is, right? Sometimes we get comfortable in our practice, we stay at a normal place. Maybe try to go a little bit deeper with this one today. Inhale, lift it all the way up from your palms together. Exhale, hands at heart center. Take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale, press into that deep warrior two. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands at heart center. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, warrior two, nice and deep. Flipping your front palm, inhale, reverse, lean back, reach back. Exhale, front of the hands down to surround your left foot into the ball of your back foot. Step this left foot back downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank pose. And exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Now taking your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, this time using your opposite index finger on top. So rolling the shoulders down your back, kissing your ankles together, if that's accessible to you. Deep breath in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. Inhale, lifting your chest, lift your legs, possibly lift your hands up off your back. Chin is slightly tucked here. Breathing in and out of your nose. And releasing left ear to the mat, gaze right, bend those knees, windshield wiper from side to side. And finding center comes beside the ribcage. Inhale, plank pose on your knees. Exhale, press back. Child pose. Three breaths here, inhaling in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. Two more deep breaths in the nose. 
Exhale, let that breath go. One more deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. Inhale, slide forward, cow pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. Inhale, inhale, slide. Exhale, knees bend, walk a step or silently hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Heel to your feet out, hip width distance. Exhale, fold, grab opposite elbows here. And instead of moving anywhere, how about you just allow your arms to hang long? Try not to take any movement here. Just allow gravity to allow you to hang long. And then releasing the elbows, inhale, lift halfway. Heel toe your feet back and together again. Exhale, fold and in. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up. Arms up. Baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhale, straightening the arms. Exhale, hands at heart center. Taking a nice deep breath in the nose. And exhale, letting that breath go. Now take your hands to your hips and shifting your weight onto your right foot, bend your left knee at 90 degrees. Now you're welcome to stay right here or we're gonna be taking this left leg behind us. So warrior three. So taking a deep breath in here, start to transition. Take your left leg back behind you. Now, hands are on the hips for a reason. As you begin to extend your left leg back, try not to lift through your left hip. Try to keep the right hip and the left hip on the same level. Now from here, that your hips are nice and even, you're welcome to transition into bringing your hands to heart center. Airplane arms, or maybe you reach the arms out in front of you. You choose. Are you still breathing in the pose here? Deep breath in the nose. Exhale, drop to the ball of your foot. Inhale, high crescent. On the exhale here, we'll take that twist again. Right arm to the back of the room, left arm to the front of the room. And then sweeping that right arm down, inhale, both arms up. Maybe back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, open up to the warrior two. Now one time, inhale, straighten through your front leg, bring the palms together above your head. Exhale, hands at heart center. Deep breath in the nose. Exhale, warrior two. Now flip your front palm, inhale, reverse, lean back. And this time straighten through your front leg. Start to take the right arm and the right rib cage forward and then tick tock your arms. Now tick tock your arms to where the back of your right hand is on the inside of your right leg, wherever it lands. Don't try to lean forward to reach the floor. Try to just take it wherever it lands. Now on your inhale, you're gonna slide the back of your hand up towards your thigh area, standing your torso up a little bit. And then exhale, we're gonna slide down, slide it down. Woo. Two more times, inhale, slide it back up. And exhale, slide it down. Last one is a hold. You might start to feel this in your core. Inhale, slide it up. And exhale, slide the back of your hand down. Remember, we're trying not to lean forward with our torso. Take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, take your top arm over the top of your head. 
really pressing back with your left hip towards the back of your mat. Bend into your front knee, warrior two. Straighten through your front leg, turn towards the side of your mat. Hands come behind the back. Interlace your fingers, roll the shoulders down your back. Taking a deep breath in the nose. Exhale, fold forward. Now taking your hands to your hips and slowly down to the floor. Inhale, lift your torso halfway. Exhale, bend in your right knee. Now only go to 90 degrees and all 10 toes are still facing the side of your mat. So as you bend, you're getting this nice lengthening stretch through the left inside of your leg. Now we're going to walk all the way around our left foot. So you should be looking at the back of your mat, low lunge, facing the back of your mat. Now slide your right foot to meet your left at the back of your mat. Inhale, lifting halfway. Heel to your feet out hip width distance. Exhale, fold. Neither piece fingers around your big toes, thumbs to your big toenails. Or maybe gorilla pose where you lift up the front of your feet and take your hands underneath your feet. You choose, but if you're choosing gorilla pose, remember to be very careful. I don't want anybody falling on their head. Taking a few breaths here to just lengthen. And finding center, inhaling, lifting halfway, releasing whatever bind you have. Feel to your feet back together again. Exhale, hold in. And inhale, roll yourself all the way up. Arms up. Baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. And exhale, hands at heart center. Deep breath in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. Now taking your hands to your hips again. Hold on tight. Shift your weight onto your left leg. Bend your right knee at 90 degrees. And taking that nice deep breath in your nose here. Exhale. Right leg goes back for warrior three. Now remember your hands are on your hips so that that right hip is not higher than your left hip. One is equal to the other. So once the hips are equal, your hands can go to heart center. They can go to airplane arms. They can reach out in front of you. You choose whichever pose level you'd like. Drop into the ball of your foot. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, left arm to the back of the room, right arm forward. Sweeping that left arm down. Inhale, both arms up. Baby back bend, elbows at 90. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, warrior two. One time, inhale, straighten through the front leg, bring your palms together above your head. Exhale, hands at heart center. Deep breath in the nose. Exhale, warrior two. Flipping your front palm, inhale, reverse the warrior leaning back. Straighten through your front leg. Reach your left arm and your left rib cage forward and tick tock the arms, taking the back of your left hand to the inside of your left leg. Now on your next inhale, slide the left hand up to the thigh, lifting through your torso. And exhale, slide it down. Trying to keep in this nice, even triangle pose. Inhale, slide up. 
Exhale, slide down. One more. Inhale, slide it up. Exhale, slide it down. Now take a nice deep breath in. And as you do, exhale, take the right arm over the top of the head, really pull it back in the right hip. Warrior two. Straighten through your front leg, turn all 10 toes to the side of your mat. Hands behind you, interlacing your fingers, the opposite index finger on top. Rolling the shoulders down your back, deep breath in the nose. Exhale, bend in your knees, fold forward. Now take your hands to your hips and slowly let them melt down to the floor. And inhale, lift your chest halfway. Now bend in your left knee, all 10 toes. Stay facing the left side of your mat so you're getting this nice stretch through the inner thigh on your right leg. And then walking all the way around your right foot with a lunge. Step back, downward facing dog. One more vinyasa flow for good measure. Inhale, rolling forward, plank pose. Exhale, low plank or all the way down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Now, if it's okay with your head and your neck, you're welcome to take your arms long beside you with your palms up. And also, if it's okay with your head and your neck, you're welcome to roll your forehead from ear to ear here. Finding center, reach your arms forward. Let your hips fall over to the left or the right as you swing your legs around in front of you and simply lay onto your back foot. Now pulling the right knee into your belly, big squeeze. And bending your left knee, catch the ankle of the right leg for figure four position. Now weave your right hand through the middle of your figure four, interlacing behind your thigh or below your knee. Deep breath in the nose. Exhale, pull the left knee in closer towards you. Releasing your hand grip. Take your right leg over the top of your left leg and then simply let both knees fall over to the left. Now you're welcome to keep your gaze towards your ceiling or maybe you send your gaze over your right shoulder. Deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. And inhaling leg center. Take your right leg off of your left leg and take a full body yawn here. Stretch your fingers to the back of the room, the toes to the front of the room. And then pulling the left knee into your belly, big squeeze. 
Bending your right knee, catch the ankle of that left leg, weaving your left hand through the middle of your figure four, interlacing behind your thigh or below your knee. Deep breath in the nose. And exhale, pull your right knee in closer to your And slowly release your hand grip, taking your left leg over the top of your right and letting both knees fall over to the right. Again, you're welcome to send your gaze towards the ceiling or maybe possibly send the gaze over your left shoulder. Taking a deep breath in here. And exhaling, letting that breath. Inhaling leg center. And taking your left leg off of your right. Pull the knees into your belly. Hands on the knees. Circle around one way. And circle around the opposite. Give yourself one last big hug here. Squeezing your eyes tight, toes tight. Squeeze everything as tight as possible. Deep breath in the nose. Exhale, release into your Shavasana with your legs playing out to the corners of your mat and your arms laying down beside you with your palms up towards the floor. Closing your eyes. And just allowing your thoughts to maybe swirl around, but not paying any close attention to anything right now. You have the opportunity to stay here in your Shavasana. I recommend that you stay here. 
If you need to move on with your day, you're welcome to start wiggling your fingers and your toes, bringing your awareness back into the space. And take a nice deep breath in your nose. And exhale, let that breath go. And pull the knees into your belly and rock a little bit from side to side. And laying over onto your right side, make a little pillow for your head with your arm. Deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. Carefully pressing yourself up into a comfortable seated position at the top of your mat. Hands come to heart center. Thank you all so very much for joining your energy together and for moving through this flow practice with not only me, but with everybody who practiced with us tonight. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday night and a wonderful rest of your weekend. Namaste.